Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 92 of Less Platinum Elden Ring. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost at the end of this area of Nocron. Or, what was this called? Knights? Knight something grounds? I can't remember. Um, say? Knight's sacred ground, there we go. Uh, okay, so we'll go down here. A few more enemies to fight. Fortunately, there's a grace point. You can also summon here if you wish. If you summon Latena here, she will decimate. Unless there's some kind of weird story thing where she turns into, or oh, like a mimic tear appears out of her, and or a silver tear, whatever. And then she attacks herself. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's take these bad boys out. One, two. I can't remember what are they weak to. Let me test. Let's try Black Flame. Let's not try Black Flame because that one's turning into a silver tier. This guy looks um, like Pate <laughs> from <laughs> Dark Souls 2. I mean, I guess anyone with a great shield does, or patches for that matter. Come on. Let's see. Flame. I think fire works okay. Lightning is definitely more powerful. Another Celestial Jew. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. That was... That was a really hard hit. Holy crap. Alright, let's try this. Huh? <laughs> Slash. Ah. <laughs> Alright, good. Getting there. Let's actually try one of these. Okay, well, it almost killed him. Please don't transform. Nice. Yeah, okay. Just make sure <laughs> I got the grace point. I already forgot. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Hey. Wow, those appeared like instantaneously. Holy crap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Or we'll do it. That's pretty cool. Try like oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but that'll work. Oh god! All right. Nice, right in the head. Nice. <laughs> I got the stun, and I took advantage and used some poise damage. And now I need to switch back to this. Let's do this. Well timed. And bleed. Bleed. Yep, it did. <laughs> Heal up. I'm kind of surprised that went as well as it did, because I probably could have got uh, slammed there at any point. Uh, what was. Uh, okay, I was like, where, where, where is it? <laughs> Can't use torrent. Oh, don't bother running over there, there's nothing. You can walk along that. A little path, but there's nothing. Pretty sure. Well, this is like a nascent butterfly. <laughs> but since there was one on this side, I doubt it. Let me have a quick look. Eh, terrible angle. Yeah, I don't think you can go around that corner. Alright, uh, we are almost there. I have no idea where this leads. I think it actually leads backwards. Is there anything over here? Nope. Uh, just this silver tier husk. Hmm. I'm kind of really curious to take that. And I, I might actually. I might take it just for, for fun. See where it takes me. Because we are pretty much at the end of this place finally. <laughs> I say finally, but it didn't take that long. Go, 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 go. If I hadn't died so much in the previous episode, I probably would have made it here. And it would have been perfect. And yeah, you can go around here, but I don't think there's anything. Just quickly check. No. Okay. And now we open this treasure chest and we can claim what we were looking for. In regards to Rani's quest line, the Finger Slayer Blade and also another great ghost glove wart. So let's have a look at that Finger Slayer Blade. Um. 
here it is. Hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nokron. Uh, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the eternal city and symbolizes it down, its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but it is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. I, I'm not 100% sure and I apologize for not like sort of doing a better job of learning the story, but this to me seems like the blade that was used um, on Godwin uh, on the Night of the Black Knives. I, that's my guess. I'm not sure if it's right, but that's what I feel like it is. And also this is, you know, exactly the same sort of style, just in reverse. Um, what was the other thing that I got? Uh, oh, I never saw, yeah, I never saw this, uh, Radan's Great Rune. Um, the Great Rune of the Shardbearer Radan, devoid of any benediction. Seek the Divine Tower of Kaled, which stands upon the precipice at the Dragon Barrow shore. So we've actually, well, we didn't really see it, but it's here. Uh, we actually got pretty close. I just didn't go down there because the enemies are quite powerful and even though we can make it, um, I was like, yeah, I'll leave it for later. All right, let's see where this takes us. Hopefully no, uh, somewhere okay. <laughs> where does it go? Where does it go? Ah, okay, perfect. Right back to the grace point where we started. Awesome. This music. I just realized that music actually sounds like something, you know, I can't put my finger on it. I'll probably come up with it after when I watch this back. Um, let's go straight back to Rani. So, Rani. Rani's right. Okay, we can continue her quest now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. What is it that reminds me of that? I feel like it's Bloodborne. It's de I'm, like, in my mind, I'm like, it's definitely Bloodborne, but I can't quite remember where. All right, we'll think about it later. Or I'll put a note, whatever. Okay, here we go. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path, only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. We get the Carrion Inverted Statue, which is very useful. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent too for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Okay, anything else? What is it? You may go. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. What is it? I too. Okay, cool. We can go. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize that Carrion Inverted Statue right now. Let's head to the Carrion Study Hall by going to the Study Hall entrance. You might remember that I uh, actually took a little detour here at the Fork um, many, many episodes ago. Uh, there was a. F I came from here. I was in the, the lake, I walked up to here and I said I'm going to head to the right, or south in this case as well, and get the study hall entrance grace point, and then I headed back this way to get this one and continued north. Uh, but the reason I did that was so now we can explore the Carrion study hall. So let's see if we can get this done, because this place, actually not before we do anything, let's level up again. Um, this place is kind of difficult, and another thing I'm going to do, let me just think for a sec, yeah. I'm actually going to put the Carrion Retaliation back on. I don't need it right this second. Whatever, magic, I don't care. I don't need it right this second, but I will need it eventually. Uh, let's put another point in Vigor. Cool, our health is growing. And let's start exploring. So, we never came here the first time. So, we're going to complete that path now and fingers crossed I can actually get this done all today. I have 10 minutes, I should be able to do it. There is a little secret path there but unfortunately at the moment it doesn't lead anywhere. So what we need to do is explore this area and take out a few enemies. They are quite powerful so beware. Golden Rune 3. You can take them out in one hit 
uh, generally, but the ones that cast spells are much harder to beat. And we're going to find one of them right... not right now, but in a second. I'm going to go down here first. Damn, I thought there was something there. And now we should find him. Or her. There he or she is. Preceptor Miriam. Preceptor is uh, exactly like what Celibus is. Alright, he disappeared. That's fine. Let's take out his uh, subordinates. And he's gone over there. And he has a very frustrating attack that uh, it looks exactly like Loretta's Great Bow. Fortunately, we have Carry and Retaliation. Which makes him not a joke. <laughs> Definitely not a joke. He's still difficult. But makes it much, much easier to take him down. Here comes another blast of attacks, just be aware. Good. Couldn't really do much with that one. Alright, here we go, ready? Carry in retaliation. Charge. Hit, hit. Try and dodge that. Okay, he's gone up there, so we can just stay close to the railings, so that way you don't get hit as much. Before we continue any further, let's be sure vitality, since I've only lost a little bit of health. Go back up. Jump. Missed. Good. Hang tough. Uh, yeah, always avoid that spell. It's really annoying. The Great Bow one is good because now you have a way to defend yourself against it. Let's see if I can target you. That's good. Try that again. The timing can be a little rough. Oh. <laughs> if you press your R1s at a uh, sort of staggered pace, you'll be able to deal with it a bit better. We get the Carrion Glintstone Staff. Now, where did he go? I think he's further... Ah, oh, that's right, yeah, he's further up. Uh, I'll read that, actually. Is there anything else I was supposed to read? There probably was. Carrion Glintstone Staff. Let's go here. It's this one here. Staff embedded with a blue glintstone. One of the two types of carrion staff. I'm guessing this is the other one. The glint, gl glint blade and glintstone. Uh, given to sorcerers that they... Given to sorcerers that they might enact the role of knight. Enhances carrion sword sorceries. And this one enhances uh, glint blade sorceries. Okay, cool. Carrion... Wait, enhances what sorceries again? Because uh, that gave me an idea. Enhances carrion sword sorceries. No, carrion retaliation may be a carrion sword sorcery, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I screwed it. I screwed it big time. It's uh, kind of tricky because the, the way he fires, like the bow, there's two. There's that one, which I think is a smaller version of the bow. I think that's how you're supposed to tell. And then there's a larger one, and the larger one takes longer, so this looks small. And also I had plenty of time to attack. I mean, react. Because I was nice and far away. It's a good spell, Karen Retaliation. Really, really good spell. And, uh, and also geniusly, um... Uh, what's the term? Uh, not injected exactly, but I can't think of the, the exact term I want to use. Uh, like, well thought of as to how it would work. Because it gives melee play. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think I get it. It gives melee players uh, more of a use involving... Well, more reason to use magic. But in a clever way without having to actually, you know... Essentially use magic without using magic. That's kind of like what I feel like the Ashes of War are. Good. I just be... Ah. Get him! Or her. One, two, three, and dead. No. <sighs> That's such a joke. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> okay. Damn it! <laughs> I was able to nullify it. Alright, finish him off. Goodbye. Yay, I did it. Alright. <laughs> what time are we on? Oh my god, we've still got time. Awesome. I got the Magic Downpour spell. Let's have a look at that. That's the one he was using against us. 
Uh, oh, and I can use it too. Summon a magic mass that sprays projectiles over area. One of the sorceries of the Carrion royal family. Uh, we read that part. This sorcery can be cast while in motion, charging extends, extends duration. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. All right, awesome. So we did that, uh, and we actually ended up right where we started, which is good. Now I just, I'm going to run around one more time because there is, yes, there's a ladder here. I don't think there's any other items, so I'll take the ladder and then, uh, then I'll quickly check again. Now, this again is very Bloodborne, um, the DLC of Bloodborne, because <laughs> you had to climb on a bunch of rafters in the DLC. It was just before defeating, um, or being able to face off against the... Uh, the big bobblehead dudes, the blue bobs, <laughs> big blue bobs, if you remember, that's what I called them, I think. Uh, and, gosh, that's a, that's a callback. And, um, the, what was her name? Something, something of the something, something. <laughs> uh, it's always so hard to, Maria, Maria, uh, Maria something or other. She had a cool name. All right. Let's, uh, Cerulean Sea Talisman. Cool. I'll read that one in a sec. And, oh god. Okay. Careful. And, uh, did I miss anything up here? No. So, let's drop down. Oh gosh. Okay, we're good. So, we defeated them. Uh, I don't think there's any more rats here. And then, yeah, I think that's it, right? What was, what was up here? Oh, it was the Cerulean Sea Talisman, okay. Yeah, I think that's all I needed to do. So where's the beginning? Let me just quickly get my bearings there. So let's just continue running. Oh, I guess, in fact, I don't even have to run. I'm just gonna quickly analyze this. There's like light peeking through behind those cabinets, but I think it's just bad lighting like from the game. I, I don't think there's any secrets there or anything. Uh, okay, cool. Now, let's go back to the study hall entrance. Because you might be like, wow, okay, that was that was pretty cool. Like, got through that section, dealt with everything. That's, that's, uh, that's all there is, right? Uh, no, no, that's not all there is. Now, because we have the carrying inverted talisman, or pet, what is it, statue, uh, which I should read. Uh, here we go. Statuette of a scholar with ground and sky inverted reveals the hidden form of the Carrion study hall which connects to the divine tower to unveil the secret affix it to the pedestal of the celestial globe. All right, there's our celestial globe. Let's affix. Okay, awesome. So now that we've done that, oh, no, I'm pretty sure this guy was here. Let me see if he says anything different. Oh, celestial go globe, transmit, transmit to posterity, the wisdom of the moon and the stars. Oh, it does proceed and obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. Okay, I didn't realize, I thought uh, you had to advance the dialogue there. I guess I just wasn't patient enough. All right, so now, lo and behold, the let's call it a temple, study hall, whatever, is inverted. And it's uh, very different. And also when I say very different, like quite difficult. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best here. We've got some like of those finger creepers that I am failing to hit because if I jump up here, they're gonna come and get me. Uh, uh, uh. Burn, burn, yay. Okay, there you go. So you can take him out in a single throw. You know what, let me just... I'm basically not gonna be able to do this, but what I will do is quickly go back here. That was my, yeah, good. Go over here again. Let's just try that one more time, see if I can't get it 
proper properly because during practice the very first time I did this I was like oh that went remarkably well and then this happened <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. We're gonna leave things here because the next part is quite difficult. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 92 of Let's Pattern Elden Ring. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.